Former Sheriff Ronald Gunn Ficklin sentenced today for running a chop shop, stealing cars and parts and ID numbers. Get out of the way. Pardon he me. came to court with a hearty bunch of supporters. I'm Paul Gates. The ruckus is just ahead. The third sheriff in a row in St. Helena Parish is to go to federal prison, and he was sentenced today. Federal Judge John Brady gave Ronald Gunn Ficklin five years and three months in jail. Earlier this year, Ficklin pled guilty to 16 counts of using his position as sheriff to help run a chop shop where cars and car parts were stolen and sold and auto ID numbers were stolen and altered. WFB's Paul Gates visited much of this uh, in his investigative reports, and he has more with us to need this evening on the sentencing and a little bit of a ruckus over there today. Huh? <laughs> I believe that's what you would call it, George. Uh, now this is a report that uh, started off inside a federal courtroom and then spilled out onto the sidewalks in front of the court building. At least the weather was nice. Former St. Helena Sheriff Gunn Ficklin was chastised by federal judge John Brady this morning after the judge sentenced Ficklin to 63 months in jail for auto theft and altering auto VIN numbers. Ficklin pled guilty before the judge months ago, but recently the judge got word through an email that Ficklin had proclaimed his innocence. The judge told Ficklin today that was a stupid thing to do. Ficklin said he had been depressed. He apologized and accepted his guilt once again. But Ficklin's humility before the judge melted when he walked out to our camera where he didn't want to talk about his crime, but the crimes of others in St. Helena Parish. Yeah, y'all need to go look at that. And there's several other things, like the police jury with the gravel, I mean, the private driveways and all. I hadn't saw you there. As we tried to talk to Ficklin while working our way to the parking lot, he ducked behind his circle of friends and supporters, and a ruckus broke out. Our microphone was snatched away. A young lady demanded we stay away from Ficklin. There was a bit of shouting and shoving there in front of the federal building. These people were obviously angry, and we happened to be a handy target for their anger. We dealt with enough. Nothing has been done about everything that's going on in St. Helena Parish. Well, something's been, something was done today. A man was sent to jail for his crime in St. Helena Parish. I think we can report that, now, shouldn't we? He was we? only trying to help the people. That's right. He was just trying to help the yes, people. Yes, he was trying to help people. And he was found, that needed he, he help. Found... Now, while Gunn Ficklin got the high end of the sentencing guide, two things could cut a, cut a, cut a, a couple of years from his 63-month sentence. Normally, a federal inmate will only serve about 85% of his sentence, and Ficklin, who has suffered with an alcohol problem, will be in an alcohol program, and that could cut another 12 months from his sentence. Thank you, Paul. Yes.